confounding and blocking. Uh, oftentimes, we don't have enough um, uh, raw material uh, to produce samples. So, uh, enough sample, and then uh, what we do is uh, we use um, uh, we block. Uh, so, uh, we use let's say three different batches of uh, material, and then prepare ours so like block one, and then block two, block three. Um, so if it's not enough, for example, let me have title that as block. If it's not enough sample available from a single batch, if we have to make it from different batch, batches, then we can do this. So uh, then we can treat this as a block because they cannot be completely randomized because they're not randomly sampled. They came from a particular batch. If, uh, if this situation happens, then we block it. So this is blocking, this concept. We have learned that in uh, previous topics. Um, this chapter uh, is more associated with confounding. What is confounding? Let's say we have a situation where we don't even have um, raw materials to produce um, uh, four treatment combination to produce four experiments so we can have enough raw material from one batch can only produce say only two um, test specimen so how do we run that kind of experiment so typically in that situation the higher order interaction is confounded within the block meaning that the effect of the higher order interaction cannot be calculated because we don't have enough sample. So let me change this to uh, plus minus so we can calculate it. I'm going to change that plus sign to uh, 1 because this Excel is taking that as uh, Okay, replace all. So I ju I've just changed that minus to minus one and then plus to one uh, so that we can uh, multiply to get the AB interaction times this. The way blocking is done is basically um, as you know that the, the interaction effect can be uh, calculated using uh, the formula you basically multiply these two uh, columns to get the interaction effect so a B contrast is calculated as um, a B plus the control minus a minus B you can calculate that way now we can see that the high of this minus that so to see the effect of a B the interaction uh, we need to have that like that so if we run this in one block and this is in another block then this AV interaction effect will not be distinguishable so in block one we can run a B and one and then block two we can run so we can prepare samples from if this comes from batch one and this from batch 2 we need four sample to uh, run this experiment so if if this from batch 1 this from batch 2 then the AV interaction is confounded it cannot be uh, calculated they are not uh, coming from randomly from a single batch so that is called confounding so in this type of design of experiment so if we um, say for example so in the block, if this comes from block 1 and this from block 2 or batch 2, then this AV interaction we cannot calculate. This is called confounding. And in the engineering experiment, there oftentimes there is not enough raw material to make uh, all the treatment combinations. So for the three uh, variable, same thing, um, simply uh, to uh, find the block effect, Inside, let me write down the block here. Um, 
what I have done is I have multiplied all of this here and then to find that ABC effect. So if we want to see the uh, ABC effect, then uh, the contrast of ABC would be all positive of ABC, ABC plus C plus B plus A minus uh, AB minus BC minus AC minus the control uh, minus the control if we put all of this minus in one block all of this plus in one block then it will be uh, it will be confounded for example so this one will go in say uh, usually one is the plus one so that one from block one this is sometimes also called principal block so positive is the principal block so that comes negative all negative comes from batch two like that like that like that so if we prepare this experiment we need eight replication for example we don't have enough uh, raw material to uh, uh, the bass is not as strong the large enough to make um, eight um, uh, specimen from one bass so if um, the um, a b a b c and a b c comes from one batch of raw material batch one and then a b b c a c and then the um, control comes from another batch or another block so that's from batch one that's from batch two then we won't be able to distinguish the ABC effect because that is confounded within these uh, two blocks. So ABC effect is confounded here. Now there is another way of calculating um, this effect. Um, we'll show that in the next video. Let's go to the four blocks. Uh, four, two to the power four. So similarly here, two to the power four design, if we want to distinguish the block, um, if we want to block, if we want to confound the ABC effect in, within the block, then we just run the uh, all negative A, B, C, D. So this goes to principal block, positive. This is in the, this is the principal block. This is the other block, principal block, principal block. Another one, other one, principal, principal. principal. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to follow this sign here. So that goes in two, block two, that's going to block one. So if, if this, um, so if you want to see the contrast of uh, A, B, uh, C, D, a, B, C, D, it can be calculated from, if we go from bottom to top, that's plus, so plus A, B, C, D, then plus C, D, then plus B, D, uh, plus A, C, blah, 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 and then minus B, C, D, and goes all the way like that. Now, if we put all this plus in the primary block, then we won't and then all the negative in the uh, secondary block then we won't be able to see the effect of ABCD so if if the samples comes from batch 1 and that is used to produce um, the treatment combination ABCD all ABCD high and then CD B D A D B C A C A B and then the control and then the all negative goes in the second block here from the bottom minus B C D don't have to write the minus or A C D A B D D A B C and so on so then if all plus goes in this block all minus goes in this block we won't be able to calculate 
the uh, ABC defect. So then ABCD is uh, confounded within the uh, block.